We've made it up to Fleetwood where we're here to see Father John Hall and a project that he's had going that I understand has just opened up. So let's go and see what the project is. Hello Sam. Hi Father John, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome. Good, thanks very much. Welcome to the pantry uh, run by our newly formed group uh, Faith in the Community. This is an ecumenical venture and uh, what happened was the local churches persuaded a number of people uh, to come together to form a trust and uh, about two years ago we bought this derelict building all three floors there's three floors there we bought the whole site of Blackpool Health Authority and uh, and yesterday we opened for the first day this first bit of what we call the community hub so the whole of the ground floor right through as far as the eye can see there will be known as a community hub and this is the first part of it so these are some of our volunteers. Hello volunteers. Hello. Our newly equipped community hub, kitchen. So what, what, what will happen here then? This well, is, the there's moment, a lot of food. So at the what? moment, because of Covid, we're just feeding as many people as we're being asked to feed, which is roughly about a thousand people a week. Okay, so every day we take delivery of food. So you can appreciate, this is the end of a day. So all the shelves have been hit. And what will happen is, first thing in the morning, late tonight, these shelves will get restocked. They begin to stock things up now. Now, the, I, the dream was that um, what we would really be doing, had it not been for COVID, would simply be looking after those who were on benefit and those who were struggling. And in the past, where they've had a bag of food and been given a handout, the idea was we were going to do things very differently. We were going to talk about giving them a hand up rather than a handout. So, um, once Covid is finished, uh, we will reconfigure this and it'll be worked more like a cooperative where people will not be customers, they'll be members. And in order to be part of this whole project, of which they'll be able to have access to the shop, as part of all that, they would have to engage with some of the uh, help that's out there. This is the end now of the pantry. Yeah. And through here is going to be uh, Regenda and Regenda, the local housing association. Their offices are presently opposite St Peter's Church. Well, in about another month, they'll be in here. And the idea being that you've come in and you've only got a food issue, or you think you have, but it might be that you're having trouble with your landlord, or you might want to talk to somebody about housing. So you'll be met in there, you'll be given a navigator, so I might be your navigator, and instead of abandoning you to all this, I'll look after you, I'll walk with you. So you've got your food sorted out, so press the button, in we come, and we will be met here by somebody from the housing authority. And I will then leave you in their capable hands, and then they'll buzz me when you're ready. And when you're ready, I will be here waiting for you as you come out. Now it might be that we also know, as well as having a housing problem, you've got a drug problem. Well then we'd say, right, now I've made you another appointment down here. So it's working now, a bit like Ikea. <laughs> you only came for a loaf of bread. Yeah. But of course, many of us know that, uh, you know, if, if you get some form of mental illness or if you've got a, um, a drug problem, a drink problem, there's often correlating issues as well, which might be housing, it might be mental health. So in you would come. Uh, so it might be that down here would be, well, you see, the local GP has offered us a nurse for a couple of hours a week. Now, she may have a room here. Now, as you're walking past to go out, of course, the nurse is waiting for you. Sam, Sam, you missed your appointment yesterday. Come in here, Sam. Uh, uh, no, come in here, Sam. So in you go. See? Yes. OK. The idea being that we want our services integrated. Now, when you come in here, when you sign up to come in here, you sign up agreeing you will be part of an integrated process and that you won't attempt to build a silo. So, Father John, what has uh, brought you joy during the last couple of months? I think um, seeing the whole community come together to do its bit during uh, COVID and how uh, everybody's rallied and uh, being a real sense of, uh, of community. And there's been a, a bit of time, really, just to, uh, just to do a bit more thinking, a bit more praying and, uh, and not having to race around so much. I remember the area dean, I was talking to him about feeling 
rather guilty at the beginning of it all, and it was him that said, you know, why, why feel guilty? Why not make the most of this, you know, and just, uh, just enjoy the time of just being. Um, no, no that, that sounds really good. And uh, it can't all have been joy. Everyone's experienced different things and some difficult things. So what, during those difficult times, has dis sustained you? Well, I, this Sam here, this fantastic view out here. On a lovely clear day, you can see the Langdale Pikes, and especially I find in February and January, when the sea's calm and, there's a, and the snow on the tops of the mountains, of the hills over there, and I, I just, I'm just reminded of that psalm uh, that talks about uh, mine eyes. Uh, what's the, what's the, I wrote it down before I came out. I lift up mine eyes to the hills. And where does my help come from? Um, and I'm reminded countless, on countless occasions that we're, you know, we're, we're constantly, uh, you know, in the presence of God. And I believe, I do believe in the providence of God. And this wonderful project that you've seen, that would never have happened had it not been of the providence of God. And uh, so, yeah, it's a real privilege being able to see this view and I get to see it free of charge every day.